Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Plater Mouse. While this may just look like an old watch to you, this is actually one of the greatest technological achievements made in the 21st century. Now the Accutron was made between 1960 and 1977. It is the first watch to use a transistor and the first watch to use a tuning fork to regulate the time. For quite a few years, this was the most accurate watch on the market. I crudely modified the Kronos 1.4 high-speed camera into a makeshift microscope. And it's actually laughable how I did this, but it works. I taped a <laughs> magnifying glass on the end of the lens and then taped a uh, five power eye loop on the end of that. I also used a five millimeter macro ring between the lens and the camera body. And as you can see, all filming was done at a very close distance. Now a normal watch uses what's called a balance wheel, which is kind of like a pendulum to regulate the time. But the Accutron uses an electrically powered tuning fork to regulate the time. This not only gave the watch a very distinctive sound, but it also reduced the number of moving parts in the watch. This was one of the most radical changes to how watches were made in over 300 years. Swiss-born inventor Max Hetzel began working on this design around 1955 and they finally were able to get these on the market about 1960. The level of miniaturization that needed to be done was just astonishing. Here we see the tuning fork cups being powered by the two very small coils. Each coil has 8,100 turns of insulated copper wire. The diameter of the wire is only one-third the thickness of a human hair. And if you unraveled one of those coils, it would reach nearly 90 yards. And Bulova actually manufactured this wire themselves instead of farming it out. Now this coil also has a feedback coil in it. And what this does is form a servo system. If you bump the watch, if the temperature changes, if the voltage in the battery drops, it'll keep on putting out 360 hertz. The next big hurdle was how to convert that vibration into rotary motion. This was accomplished by something called the indexing mechanism. This is where things get very small, very fast, and very, very precise. The Accutron has a tiny gear called an index wheel. This thing only is 2.4 millimeters in diameter, but has 320 teeth on it. Each vibration from the tuning fork drives this gear one tooth at a time ahead. The tiny jewel on the end of the index finger is driven directly by the tuning fork. The pawl finger remains stationary and prevents the index wheel from rotating backwards. And bear in mind this is occurring 360 times a second. Now when you watch this in real time it's almost impossible to tell what's going on because it's vibrating so fast. You can't even see the movement. The teeth on that index wheel are so small and so fragile, if you touched them, you would damage the teeth. Now to give you a sense of scale of how small this is, that's a human hair right there. Now to this day, it's still a trade secret how the teeth were cut on that tiny little index wheel and how those two ruby jewels were made and made to such perfect tolerances. All the critical parts in this had to withstand trillions and trillions of repeat cycles of bending and moving and rubbing without suffering metal fatigue or just wear and tear. Now considering the tiny scale of all this occurring and the incredible speeds and high cycle rates, it was just amazing to me to see how perfectly this thing ran. No skip teeth or crashing gears or stripped gears. Everything just ran perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching.